A big thing I've noticed in game design is the balance between authorial intent and inclusivity. And when I say inclusivity, I don't mean as in like having a specific number of characters be minorities or whatever. I'm talking about accessibility, essentially, like uh, how accessible your games are to everyone. Like, and there are quite a few things that are basically the industry standard at this point, like subtitles, uh, colorblind assist, uh, left-handed control schemes, uh, and then even, like, if you want to take that further, there are things like auto-aim and difficulty settings. Now I'm going to make a case for accessibility, because the alternative, uh, it's not good for anyone. Now I'm going to start off with a little story. Um, if any of you remember that total invalid who uh, kept failing at the Cuphead tutorial, it spent a good 5-10 minutes trying to get over one obstacle in the tutorial when what you had to do was literally on screen. Um, yeah, he was a big meme for a while and uh, really opened my eyes about how terrible games journalism really is. Um, he played uh, Mass Effect 1 and he thought it was too complicated and too difficult, so he told... He, he, he said that in his review and told Bioware that, and that's the reason uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 were so dumbed down. Now, the thing about Mass Effect is that it's an RPG. <laughs> well, it's meant to be an RPG. So, there's a lot more to it than just the combat. Like, granted, combat is a big part of it, but the difficulty settings in Mass Effect only affected the combat. Whereas there are lots of other things, like there's keeping companions happy, there's uh, dialogue options, you know, like XP and all of that shit. Like, it wasn't just combat difficulty that made the game challenging and interesting. He no doubt played on the lowest difficulty setting, you know, because he's, like I said, he's an invalid who isn't capable of playing video games. But, so just the combat, the combat was easy, but everything else was normal. Just lowering the combat and calling that a difficulty setting in a game as expensive as an RPG, with so many different things that can affect your experience in an RPG game, isn't really suitable. Like, it's not good enough. And before you say, oh, it's too much work, it's too much work, that's too difficult. No, it's really not. Fallout 1 and 2. Like, those two games are older than me. Yet, they can still have a difficulty setting for the combat and then for all of the skill-related stuff. If a 20-year-old title that came from an era that was barely out of the whole arcade machines that were designed to just fucking take as many quarters as you can by getting significantly harder and harder, if a game like that is still accessible and far more inclusive to its players than a triple A release in the last decade, something is majorly wrong. Because look what happens when those accessibility options aren't there. Absolute invalids complain and the game gets dumbed down for everyone. How difficult would it have been to add a difficulty setting for the social skills, maybe? Like, it's, it's far harder to fuck up when you're having discussions. Would that really have been so difficult? Just changing a few variables and giving players that option? Apparently it was, if you work at fucking Bioware. Not to mention the fucking elitist bastards who just throw up a massive tantrum as soon as any kind of low difficulty settings are added. That's fucking pathetic. Stop being such a fat retard. Like, easy mode isn't going to affect you. Now, who knows, maybe you like easy mode. Why don't you try it? Or you don't have to try it, because you can do whatever the fuck you want. That is the greatest thing about accessibility. We're in the era where everyone's saying, games are for everyone. So how about we actually make them for everyone? You don't have to do this gleefully. Like, you can do it really tongue-in-cheek. Like, you can do what Wolfenstein did, where uh, the lowest difficulty setting was like, can I play, please, daddy? And it had uh, the guy with, like, a baby cap on and a pacifier. Like, that's funny. And, like, that's not hurting anyone. Maybe apart from the person's uh, self-esteem and, you know, the confidence, but, you know, why are you playing a Wolfenstein game if you're not expecting, like, some really horrible humour? Like, this can probably tie into another video I've been wanting to make about archaic shit in video games that really needs to disappear in my opinion of course you can disagree with that or whatever you can make your response videos actually yeah i want people to make response videos to me i want people to call me out when i speak bullshit okay yeah besides i could do with the extra attention <laughs> now on the other hand there's authorial intent where it's what the developers and the designers want the game to be like let's look at dark souls but the point of Dark Souls is that it's not meant to be fair. 
Okay? Like, if you can find a glitch or an exploit, then you're, you're a fucking pro. Like, you're good at the game. Have fun. But, um... The game doesn't really hand anything to you, including, like, lucky breaks. Like, there's no difficulty settings. There isn't really much you can do to make the game easier, apart from, you know... Pick a sorcerer. But I suppose that's more to do with the fact whether you consider video games entertainment or art. And like, yeah, I know there's a lot of crossover with those things. Like, art is... could be considered entertainment, and all entertainment could be considered art. But it's whether you think uh, it matters more to the people making it or the people consuming it. And the majority of people I speak to... Uh, including myself, uh, consider the latter. Like, video games can still be considered art without having- without- without the developers needing to be pretentious assholes and not budging on what they want their game to look like, you know what I mean? Uh, because, let's be honest, like, th this only really applies to the PC master race, so sorry console peasants, but, uh, <laughs> if the gamers, uh, want something in a game on PC, they'll just mod it in. So, you can either cash in on it, or <laughs> you can let third-party goons do it for you. So, Surely, if you give them what they want, maybe you can do that through how you want it to be, if that makes sense. Like, mods are all- mods are usually crude and buggy and not good. So, if you made what the gamers want, but better than what they want, that could be really interesting, and that could uh, take your series further, and, you know, reach a broader audience or whatever. And because, let's be honest, like, you're making games because you want to sell lots of copies and make lots of money. Like, that's the drive behind it. Like, granted, you might be doing it because you like it, or because you want to express yourself, but the primary interest is for your games to be successful, and for lots and lots of people to enjoy them, right? So, why would you limit yourself to a certain demographic? Or make anyone else who isn't in this certain demographic have to, you know, jump through hoops and download mods and shit to have and j to have a good experience with your game. Like I'm gonna use Bioware as another example. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm dyspraxic. It's a, it's it's a disability that really fucks up my fine motor skills, and I just can't really game on a keyboard and mouse. So I use um. I don't have an Xbox 360 controller at the mo mo moment, but uh, I use a bootleg uh, PS2 controller at the moment. And Dragon Age Origins doesn't have any controller support on the PC, so I have to use Xpadder. I have to use a third-party software to even begin to play this game. Like, that's a fucking joke. I shouldn't have to do that. And what makes it an even bigger joke is the fact that this game was ported to the Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure it was ported to the PS3 as well. And that has fine controller support, yet they couldn't do it for PC. Why? I don't think Bioware care about inclusivity at all. I think they're a bunch of virtue signaling libtards. Right, so let's make a list of how to make your game inclusive, okay? First of all, there are shit like subtitles, uh, you know, let people mess around with the colour settings, all that stuff, and add colourblind assist, and you know, there's contrast and everything. Oh, and for the subtitles, make sure they're readable. Okay, they don't need to look nice, they need to look readable. Add a difficulty setting for anything that requires skill, okay? So that includes puzzles, combat, social dynamics, you know, skill levels. If it requires any semblance of skill, make sure there is at least an easy mode for it. Also, quick time events, they should be optional, like completely. Like, even if you have you know, like a really high authorial intent. Even if you, even if you're so far up your own ass that you think like your games are w works of art, like you should be able to skip the fucking quick time events. Oh, and yeah, if that wasn't obvious, that last uh, bit was aimed at David Cage. Yeah, fuck, fuck off, David Cage, and Telltale Games as well. Even though they went bankrupt, uh, thankfully. But yeah, inclusivity versus authorial intent. It's uh, it's very easy uh, if you make it optional. If you make it accessible. You know, if you give your players options, you, you can have the normal, uh, this is how we intended mode, and then there's the fuck around, do whatever you want, you cripples, you games journalists, and you disabled people mode. You know what I mean? See, that's easy. Darkest Dungeon did that, and Darkest Dungeon was amazing. Fallout 2 did that, and Fallout 2 was amazing. But Mass Effect 2 and 3 didn't do that, and Mass Effect 2 and 3 are shit games. Well, not really shit games, but they're definitely shit RPGs. Whew, yeah, that was, uh, 
been wanting to make a video about that for a while, and I'm glad I finally did, because uh, I could I could honestly talk about this for hours, and it's already like ten minutes now. So, <sighs> special thanks to Stolen Dragoon and Ori Main and all of my other patrons, and you will see me in another video. Unless this really pissed you off. Unless you're like one of those uh, elitists. In that case, I don't want you as a fan. Fuck off. End of story. You bloody fool.